Isn't it interesting how far a man can run on desperation? David, David, David. Where are the negatives? Where are the negatives? Fuck you. Fuck all of you! It's no matter. We'll find them intact. It's too bad they won't find you in that condition. Can I help you? I'm here about the job, uh, the secretary's job. You are in the right place. 
I'm Paul Hanson, the new editor of the Coppertin Chronicle. Well, uh, can you type? 80 words a minute. Good, good. Um, can you answer the phone? Then you're hired. How about help me with these boxes? Daddy, aren't you gonna introduce us? Oh, I'm sorry, this is my daughter, Christine. She's helped me sort things out here in the office. Just got back from Florida, but soon she'll be back in school. And your name is? Evelyn. Evelyn Spiker. Well, Evelyn, welcome aboard. Excuse me. I'm looking for a Paul Hansen. You got him. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Shannon Cornell. I'm here about the reporting position. Yeah, I, I just didn't expect anybody this quick. I mean, this is such a small town and all. Well, I need a break. I've been working as a staff reporter for the New York Times for a while, and I just feel I need to get away. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I just bought this paper uh, last month after 15 years at the Chicago Tribune. City can be a real pain in the ass after a while. Um, this is my daughter, Christine. Hi. Hi. Um, so you need a job, <laughs> and, and I need a reporter, so. I guess you're hired. I, I remember back in Chicago when I would, excuse me. Chef! Chef! Hey! Hey, Chef! Chef! Hey, Sheriff, got any news for us? Come on, Sheriff, God damn it. It's the right of the people to know what's going on in the town they live in. Don't you think? And is it their right to harass the process of the law? Hey, who's harassing who here, Sheriff? You news people are all the same, aren't you? I think you can just walk all over people to get a scoop. Damn blood suckers. Kid found a body out by the Bailey place. Guy's been dead a couple hours. I'm heading out there now. Find your own damn ride. And how long you been standing there? Long enough to say let's go, boss. done this. Ever so often some damn smugglers get a little too careless with their bosses and they slip up. You don't think this is drug related, do you? It's drug related. Shannon, you, you want to take a look at this? Hey, it's okay. He's a John Doe. They don't even know who he is. It's nothing. Hey. God. Paul, I've done a lot of drug follow-ups, and this doesn't look like anything on that order. Take a look at the marks on the leg, the entry point. That's not even torture. It's more like, God, I don't know. Got a hunch, don't you? It's a long shot, but I need to check it out. Sheriff says it's an open and shut case. All right, go for it. Oh, I didn't know you were here. There you are. Ah. in the office yet, Mr. Henson? Well, it's proven to be a little harder than it looks. You know, we had to chase the rats away first. Oh, my. I'm just kidding. I'm 
I'm just kidding. Reverend Donovan. Hello, Beatrice. Hello. You must be Mr. Henson, our new newspaper editor. I'm Reverend Donovan. I look forward to meeting you. It certainly will be nice to have our own newspaper now, won't it, Beatrice? Yes, it will. And you must be Christine Henson. It's a pleasure to meet you, young lady. Thanks. Well, now that we've met, I'll expect to see both of you in church this Sunday. Well, we don't really go to church. Please, I look forward to seeing you. such an appropriate place to meet here among the souls who guard the gates of hell. Reverend, when you said you needed to talk. I have a gift for you. A token of my trust in your abilities. Don't fail me. I'm sure this gift comes with a price. Copperton has several new arrivals. Inquisitive and fresh. They must be integrated. The shepherd must increase his flock. Don't challenge my authority, Julia. I wouldn't think of it. Your control is firm, Reverend. You should have no fear from me. Friends, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome to our community Mr. Paul Henson and his daughter Christine. I'm sure Mr. Henson will find Copperton to be quite hospitable. Last week, I spoke of loyalty and trust. Loyalty to your community and loyalty to your church. Now I speak today of discipline. Discipline of all of us. Not just the smaller members of our society. But each and every one of us Now, what do I mean by discipline? By discipline, I mean the complete refusal to tolerate anyone who tries to infect us with the disease of their own ideas. It says in the Bible, be vigilant and watch for traitors. And we, as a community, must not allow liars and infiltrators into our midst. They must be sought out. They must be uncovered. 
lest we allow them to destroy all the power we have gained. We have the power to control our own destiny. And we must not let others take that away from us. We must not disappoint the master when he returns to inherit his kingdom. Yes! Oh, nice to see you. Thank you. Doing well? Thank you were just wonderful. Thank you. What did you think, Mr. Henson? Interesting. I'd like to talk to you some more, Mr. Henson, about our church and its members. And what did you think, Christine? It was fantastic. You certainly take a very defensive position in the church, Reverend. We prefer to call it protective. Protective. I just snapped another ribbon. I'm about to go to the store and get another one. And Evelyn, would you please stop calling me Mr. Henson? It's Paul, okay? Want me to get you one? No, I need the damn exercise. Any word yet from Shannon? Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me, but why have all of these pages been blacked out? Protection. Protection? Protection from what? From you. Mr. Thompson. <clears throat> what can I do for you, Mr. Hanson? I need a 40cc typewriter ribbon, but they're pretty rare. I hope you've got one. Uh, let me check. Hell, we've got shit left over from World War II. I saw that someplace down here the other day. I, I thought I'd never get rid of it, but uh, I knew somebody would walk in and want something like that. God, I'm sorry. I, I don't know where I was looking. You're Paul Henson, editor of the, uh... Copper and Chronicle. Yeah. That's right. Well, I'm Julia Francine. I teach at the school. Your daughter, um... Christine. Yeah. Bright girl. So how do you two like Copperton? It's, um... different. Not exactly what I expected from a small town. Many things aren't what we expect, Mr. Henson. Call me Paul. Please. Call me Julia, Paul. Anytime. Evening, Larry. Reverend. 
I, I can explain everything. Not locking up well. There you are. I was wondering where you've been. Paul, listen to me. I found something you should take a look at. This is not a drug-related murder. I couldn't understand it at first, but then when I saw the marks, my God, Paul, they're identical. Come on, Shannon. Identical markings are not everything. Just proves that maybe... It proves that my hunch could be true, Paul. Suppose it's possible that we may have stumbled onto a... Onto what? Sheriff will put us both into jail for lunacy. Something's going on here. 1974, Springfield, Illinois. Satanic cult kills two teenage kids. Markings and cuts all over their bodies. 1982, bodies found in a deserted parking lot near Miami. Cult markings all over. Blood removed by needles. Found later in the stomachs of people caught. 1986, Athens, Ohio, Paul. Two teenagers killed by possible satanic cult, including a 16-year-old girl. Daddy? Daddy? Write up a story for tomorrow. Include a drawing of the marks. Daddy? What's wrong? Very nice, Mary. Very nice. How's school for you this year? Fine. And that boy you're dating, what's his name? Rob? Robbie? Robert. How is he? He, we, we're going to college this fall at the State University. How wonderful. Copperton hates to lose one of its fine young people. You'll be missed. So I guess this is goodbye, Mary. Well, I won't be leaving for a few more weeks. trying to stir up trouble here. Ever since you moved here, all this shit's going down, and now you're trying to scare people even more. Why, goddammit, why? Jeff, you have got to believe me. The evidence we have, it all points to something much bigger than a damn drug murder. You gonna tell me this was a drug murder too, Sheriff? Look, somehow, some way, this girl and the guy killed last week, they tie into a larger picture. The wounds, the, the wounds are the same. Sheriff, what did Mary do? Did she have a job, uh, an after school activity? What? Sheriff, goddammit, open your eyes! Back the fuck off, Hanson, or I'll throw your ass in jail! I would charge! I'll make one up! Mary never did nothing to nobody. Hell, she used to babysit for the mayor and some other people in town. Who do you think did this? Couldn't really tell you. But I will tell you one thing. She used to play the organ for the Reverend. Donovan?
<clears throat> May I help you? I'd like to see the mayor. I'm Paul Henson, editor of the Coppin' Chronicle. Hmm. Strange first edition, Mr. Henson. If you ask me, it wasn't any kind of satanic cult. No, it was UFOs. UFOs? Yeah, strange things been happening around here. Mr. Mayor? Oh, yes, you must be... Paul Henson, Copperton Chronicles. How are you, Mr. Henson? Uh, just fine. Sir, I'd like to ask you a few questions about Mary Rhodes. Oh, sad. Very, very sad. She was such a bright girl, too. I understand she babysat for you and your wife. Of course, she never could really stay away from that Robbie boy. Sir, did she ever show any signs of being in a... You did drugs? Drugs? America's war on drugs, not strong enough for our young people, I'm afraid. Damn shame. Sir, I have a stack of evidence here. If you could just take yes, some... Yes, well, I'd give those to the DA. Now, I have to rush off, but good luck to you and your newspaper. Drugs. It's an open and shut case. Drugs. That's it? That's all the attention you're going to give to these two murders that happened right in your backyard? Look, uh, I can't really help you guys. I think you're jumping to conclusions. Conclusions? For Christ's sake, sir! You have two people, one of them a teenage girl hacked up, and you think it's all related to drugs? You're crazy! I mean, what the hell do I have to do to get a decent criminal investigation going on in this town? I can't get any cooperation from you, not from the sheriff, not from anyone. Maybe it's me. Maybe uh, mutilated bodies are an everyday occurrence here in Copperton. Tell me, what? I wish I could help you guys, but my resources are, um, limited. I'll say limited. You're not doing a damn thing. I'm sorry. Paul. You got lousy taste in paperweights, counselor. Another one for you, master. Another child in your holy name. Soon, ladies, you too will know the benefits of motherhood. The benefits of giving another gift from our Lord and Master to our sacred church. How I do envy you. We must now seal up the open wound in our town. Purge the sick plague that has infested our homes and even, even our church. They must be stopped! At all costs. Who else has access to the maternity ward? Only me and another nurse. Susan Richardson. Is she the one who was killed? <gasps> oh God, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Repeating our final story tonight, the Bellevue Hospital maternity ward was broken into late last night, and all 12 of the children have been taken. 
Their whereabouts at this hour are still unknown. Waiting for you. Who is he? Kane, Reverend Kane. Old fart. <clears throat> Can I help you? Hello, Hanson. I'm Reverend Kane. I've read your articles. Articles? The ones about the cult. Excuse me. Possible cults. That's why I'm here. This is Shannon Cornell, the journalist on the story. You know, I still don't understand why... Why I'm here? I spend my life traveling to hundreds of towns like Copperton. Small, tiny spots on the map that no one seems to ever pay any attention to. Except when something bizarre occurs. Something no one can explain. Some label it druggies, hippies, freaks. But they all have something in common. A basic common element of pure evil. Malicious intent? Oh yes, quite. Only their intent goes much deeper and darker than others ever imagine. A satanic cult? <laughs> Very interesting. Someone here finally has the courage to speak up. These murders you've had here, did you know this isn't the first time something like this has happened here? Ten years ago, a man by the name of Dobson, good old black Dobson, butchered several infants in a shack not too far from here. The local police ruled it a simple case of sick insanity, but it went much deeper than that. If you truly have this type of situation here, I'll be able to identify it. Take a look at these. Police ruled this a drug case. Is this all the evidence you have? Concrete, yeah. We need to speak to Dobson. Where is he? Loganville Prison. I helped put him there. Beats the hell out of me why anybody would want to see this freak. You should have given him the chair, crazy bastard. Dobson. Who the hell are you? Kane, Reverend Kane. I've come to ask you a few questions. Kane, Reverend Kane, bastard. You fucking son of a bitch. Be still, be still. Where's the holy place? Where is the holy place? Is it the forest? The woods near Copperton? <laughs> no, no, only for the unworthy. Only for the unworthy. <laughs> Where is the holy place? <laughs> Fuck you, holy man. Is it the church? Or is it the lake, the Briar Lake? Or is it the quarry? Go to hell. Who is in Copperton? Come here. Who is it? Find him out, Dobson. You can be sure of that.
Don't forget Dobson. In the eyes of God, all is forgiven. I, I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them anything. I, I didn't. I didn't tell them anything. I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them anything. find something. Where do you think they'd have it? Wherever the sun's rays are the brightest at dawn. Why? That's when they like to perform their black mass. It looks like a flat part at the bottom near the water. Let's try over there. Cover everything up. Yes. Or they could move it. My God. Oh, dear God. You better get over here. Sacrifice to Satan for his gift of power and the hope for his gift of strength. A child's blood is precious in their eyes. In the hospital. They were taken here. This happens all the time, all over. Usually it's an isolated case. Police figure it's one of the parents took it. Never like this. Never. Thompson. Christ. They're killing their own. We have a problem here. Who is a local preacher? Some psycho named Donovan. I want to speak with him. He may know something about this. Reverend, wonder if we might talk to you for a minute. Your cross is upside down, Reverend. What? Your cross? Oh, yes. So it is. Reverend Donovan, this is Reverend Kane. He's here looking into the possible connection with satanic cults and the murders of those two people this week. Reverend Kane. Is that the same Kane that found those unfortunate children down in Hillsboro last year? And the man who put Dobson away for the baby murders? Ah, yes. I've heard a lot about you indeed. So now you've come to Copperton to hunt for more witches and warlocks, eh, Reverend? Well, I can tell you one thing. You won't find them here. That's why we came to you, to see if you knew anything, seen anything. 
the church says. Whose church? Your church, not mine. My church obeys the rules I create, not some long ago superstitious ideology that speaks of right or wrong, good and evil. The church is the creation of its believers, not the other way around. It's going to rain now. I have to finish the work, if you'll excuse me. And they shall go forth and look upon the dead bodies of the men that have rebelled against me. For their worm shall not die, their fire shall not be quenched, and they shall be an abhorrence to all flesh. Isaiah 66, 24. Francine, God, you scared me. You're one of our brightest students. Tell me, what do you think of the topics we've covered in class since you've moved here? Well, interesting, but, uh, well, a little, uh, peculiar. But it is an interesting look at history. I never heard of Alistair... Crowley. Yeah, or his works. And your perspective on Adolf Hitler and his position on complete authority. Interesting. How does your father feel about our town and what we believe in? He's looking into it. Tell me, Christine, wouldn't you want to be one of us? Control your own destiny? Dominate others? See your dreams and fantasies come to life before your very eyes? I've, uh, I've got to go. Think about the offer, Christine. Happiness and fulfillment await. We found bones. Bones that could be linked to numerous murders here and around the state. Now, I think that deserves some attention. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, damn allergies. I hate rain. Uh, so, uh, what's the sheriff think about your quarry hopping? He won't return my phone calls. Or see us. Mm. Look, Mayor, I think this matter needs to be taken more seriously. I mean, the sheriff is practically ignoring me. The district attorney is pretending like the situation doesn't exist. I mean, Jesus, we found bones. Children's bones. I can't get these people interested when, in fact, I probably need the FBI. Mayor, quite frankly, I need your support on this one. I need you behind me every step of the way on this. <laughs> Children's bones. But I realize that you are a very, very busy man. So, uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. We'll, we'll be leaving you now. Conspiracy involving the mayor, the DA, several townspeople, possibly many more. Possibly the sheriff. And well, I would explain his actions. But why? I mean, why a conspiracy? Protect someone? Donovan. This upside down cross on the arm tells me this is a cult whose leader insists upon discipline and service, a mark of Satanism, and of Donovan. Now, how does the first victim tie into all this? I didn't see any marks on his body resembling a cross. Possibly an innocent victim, or, or maybe he knew something about them, something they had to kill him for. Like Thompson? I think Thompson let you see too much that day, and he paid for it. Mary wanted to leave. College. And they didn't want her to. 
Many people join these cults. Few people come out. This upside down cross on the arm tells me this is a cult whose leader insists upon discipline and service. A mark of Satanism and of Donovan. So the whole damn town's behind this nut. I'm going to talk with Donovan. Are you crazy? This guy's sick. He'll kill you. We can't let them scare us. If we do, they've already won. Hello, Charles. I didn't tell him anything. Donovan, I swear to you. No. No, not like that. Put it in your arm. No, oh, please, Donovan. Put it in your arm or we'll put it in your eye. I heard you come in. I... I heard Mary Rhodes was killed. What happened? I don't know, honey. But, um... I don't think it had anything to do with drugs. She was an A student. She was going to college. It just doesn't make any sense. Nowadays, nothing really does. Thinking about mom? Yeah. Me too. Mom used to say that when a little kid gets scared or lonely, God sends down one of his angels to protect them. Why are there so many sick people in this world? I don't know, honey. Maybe mom was wrong.
Donovan. They know all about you now. Crowley, a man well ahead of his time, a great Satanist, but a poor leader of souls. You're finished. I'm breaking it up. <laughs> you amuse me, Cain. I never thought a man of a forgotten god could be so funny. How dare you defile God in his house? Who's God? My God is having the time of his life. You are too blind to see the power he gives us for being his servants. Power to rule over our own brethren. Power to destroy the meek and the treacherous. Does your God give you power, King? No. You follow a myth, a legend. We have the world at our command. He will soon return, and the world will know he is truly our savior. You sick, pathetic creature. Innocent people have- Innocent people have died all over the world at different times in history. They've died for holy reasons more so than any other. It has always been the case that the strong dominate the weak. For us, it is no different. What do your few measly souls mean to a new nation, to a new religion, to a new god? <laughs> to proclaim a new god in blood, holy, holy blood. My people shall join me in joy as we sacrifice countless weak, useless lives for the glory of the Master. And you, and all your religion, can't stop us. No more, Donovan. Your sick game is over. No, my foolish friend. It's just begun. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> our latest sacrifice. But don't worry. You'll have plenty of company. Tell your God about me. Warn him. You'll rot now. How exciting. We look for light. But find only dark. Why was Cain so desperate to see Donovan without us? Do you think he's holding something back from us? I don't know. 
Stuff about the rest of the town makes sense, though. I mean, they follow them around like little pets. Are you okay? How about you? I'm fine. But God, do I need some sleep. Paul? Hmm? What happened to your wife? She was killed by a drunk driver while picking up Christine from school. Bastards never sleep. We moved here to get away from the horrors of the city. Ran right back into it. I hope that was not a pity. Julia Francine, we haven't met yet, but we do have a common interest. Paul Henson. What about him? The longer you continue to work for him, the more trouble you're going to bring him and that pretty little daughter of his. Look, how in the hell did you get in here? Leave Copperton, Miss Cornell. It'll do us all a lot of good. Look, if you don't get out of here, I'm going to call the police. Do it, bitch. How easy it would be to break you. Leave here now. Francine. Julia. Remember? May I come in? It's really, really late. Please, Paul. It's important. Um, now what can I do for you? Paul, listen to me. I'm afraid for you and Christine. Why? Because things, events have taken place here which they could affect you and your daughter. I wouldn't want that to happen. Do you mean the cult? What do you know about it? Enough to know you're in danger if you stay on the outside. Outside? Are you saying... Paul, safety and security for you and your daughter is no problem if you just listen to us. Oh. 
would like you to leave. Now. When you see the truth, you know where you can reach me, Paul. What? Don't fuck with me, Hanson. Where were you last night around 11 o'clock? Uh, 11 o'clock last night. Um, I just got back from driving Shannon Cornell home. Is there something wrong, Sheriff? Damn right something's wrong. I got me a goddamn dead man, and all the indicators tell me you had something to do with it. Jesus, who's dead? Slit throat. Right across here. Sheriff, I know the man that did this. He's right here in your town. You could arrest him now. Hold on. What proof do you have? I need proof before you go off rattling names. Could get us in a whole lot of trouble. That's all he had. What'd you find? Uh, nothing. Nothing, Sheriff. It's just an old hat, I guess. Thanks for your help. What happened to him? Suicide. I don't know who to trust anymore. Paul, I, I have a confession to make. I'm here because I'm part of a team looking into satanic cults in this part of the country with the Times. My partner is the John Doe they found last week. He was killed because he had proof of their blood rituals. I know this sounds hard to believe. I don't even know if I believe it, but it's the truth. Your friend sent these to Kane. He knew. The sheriff didn't find any of those things, did he? He didn't check inside the hat. I also found the name of uh, Thomas Crane. Apparently he's an ex-member of Donovan's cult who managed to escape last year. I want to meet with him. Maybe he can identify the people in these photos. It'll be dangerous. I don't want you hurt, Pa. Killed Kane, but not before we got some very interesting negatives. Negatives? He gave you negatives? I've got it. I've got the proof of what you're doing here. I've got the proof that you are one sick bastard. Where are the negatives, Mr. Henson? If you kill me, you'll never get them. Join us, Paul. 
You have no idea of the power we have because of our allegiance to the Master. Anything you desire. have you shown these to? You're it. Look, Mr. Davidson, you're the state attorney general. What can you do to stop them? Betty, get me Richardson in the governor's office. Tied up till four. All right, listen carefully. Arrange a meeting with him for this afternoon. Yes, priority six. You'll know. Thank you. What's priority six? Possible criminal and subversive acts. The governor instigated it 14 years ago after the student riots. It applies here. All we can do now is wait. I have an appointment. Uh, can I come back? Call first. If I have anything, I'll let you know. Can I keep these? No. I think I better keep them. Very well. Thomas Crane. Paul Hempson. They're always, always watching. Donovan, in the Capitol? How do you think he's managed so far? He's got so many officials under him, he could be governor of the state. Were you followed? I'm not sure. Maybe. Mr. Henson, do you believe in God? Why? Because if you go up against Donovan, you'd better start. Yes! God, you can put him away with these things! Who else have you shown them to? Just you. Oh, and the uh, Attorney General. Dear God, no. It goes as high as him?
you, mister. Thank God. Look, I'm being shot at by some nuts on the highway. I need to call ahead for some help. Do you have a phone? My babies. Ain't they pretty? What have you done with my daughter, you son of a bitch? She's waiting for her daddy. I'd offer you a glass of lemonade, but... We're still squeezing out the juice. Fucking son of a bitch! <laughs> I know how high up this goes. I know how to stop you. I don't think you really do, Mr. Henson. So Crane was right. Only the governor is the last to know. We're working on that. Where are the negatives, Mr. Henson? Where's my daughter? Really, Mr. Henson? There's nothing you can do. Donovan, if you touch one hair... It's truly useless to resist.
What are you talking about? I don't know where she is. What the hell's the matter with you? Sheriff, it's Donovan. He did this. What? He's destroying this town piece by piece and killed most of his opponents and taken my daughter. Paul, I thought it was... We got Christine. She could still be... Alive. I'm betting on it. Wire's been cut. I have a friend at the Capitol. He can get us in to see the Attorney General. He's one of them. It's got to be the Governor. Only the Governor is the last to know. We're working on that, though. We don't have much time. Get me to a phone. Reverend? He came to set the captives free. What are you doing to this town? Sheriff, you and I are a lot alike. We both have our flocks to protect. Donovan, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Like primal wolves thirsty for the blood of our enemies, we thrive upon the knowledge of power and fear. Fear keeps You have the, the right to remain check. silent. The domination of the weak always gives power to the strong. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. The war. holy blood of the innocent, the wretched vow remains of the dead shall rise under him. You have the right to an attorney. And a new order shall emerge and the feeble non-believers shall bleed, oh yes, bleed for their ignorant sins. Okay, nobody move. We will become the lion. Ah! The rest shall become sheep. One hour. Yeah, right. Yeah. All set. All right, let's get on the bus slowly. All board, folks. Follow me. Donovan, I didn't hear you come in. Are you reveling in your now complete glory, Reverend? Satisfied knowing all your enemies are dead and defeated? 
when you get your chance to taste sweet virgin blood, a ritual reserved for only the most sacred of hosts. Donovan, Donovan, there truly is no end to your maniacal reach, is there? Failed me, Julia. Failure has no forgiveness or sorrow, only revenge. An errant disciple must be punished. Punished. Dave, we've got enough evidence to put Donovan and the Attorney General away for murder. Not to mention kidnap and embezzlement. It's a goddamn miracle you made it this far. Paul, will find your daughter. That's a promise. Ready, Paul? What in the living hell? Dan! No! Listen to me! You've got to hear this tape! Only the governor is the last to know. We're working on that, though. Isn't that Richard? Where's my daughter? Really, Mr. Henson, there's nothing you can do. It's truly useless to resist. Who are you people? We're from Copperton. The town's been taken over by this fanatical reverend who's leading a group of Satanists. Several people have been killed. My daughter's been kidnapped. What's this have to do with the Attorney General? He's one of them. <laughs> and the end of the rule is in 23 hours, 10 minutes, right? Let's get them the hell out of here. Look at the pictures! What pictures? These! Not here. Not in my state. Let him go. If this is true, how high up? We've got to stop them now, sir. And if you're the last stop before God knows what, we have got to stop them. They have your daughter? Tom. Organize the grand jury. Special code 112. And I'll be there in just a few minutes. Something I'm just beginning to understand. God help us. This evidence must have been very difficult to obtain, Mr. Henson. A lot of people died to get it here, sir. You have nothing to worry about. The evidence is now in the hands of the state, and soon we'll be examining it. It's almost over. Detective Stevens said that the evidence was ripped from the governor's hand when he was killed. That rules out these two. They know something. So, you're telling me these fanatics... Satanists. Satanists. Killed the governor because the evidence you brought him earlier? Yes. Yes, look, we don't have much time. They... They what? They already have what they want. The pictures are back in their hands. So? So they're gonna kill my daughter, you stupid son of a bitch! Okay, okay, let's start from the beginning. No, goddamn! No more fucking questions! 
You people are sitting on your asses while these sick freaks are about to kill my daughter in some pagan ritual. Now, I've told you everything you need to know, so help us, goddammit. The entire town is run by this man. This sick, murdering, self-made leader who... Jesus. Who's got my baby. State police will detain them for a long, long time. We have the negatives. Prepare the little bitch. Tonight we have the Black Mass. <laughs> okay, old man. Make a sound or a move and I'll splatter your brains all over that front window. Where's the party tonight? Say goodnight. The quarry. gathered in this sacred spot to perform the most holy of rituals, Black Mass. Drinking of salty blood. The hunger. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Who cares? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Touch her and I'll blow your ass off that rock, freak. You're a fool, Henson. There are too many of us. You don't stand a chance of living! Mistake. I got a couple more left. Who's next? You are surrounded. Drop your weapons and step back. Damn you! 
<laughs> See you in hell. Drop the gun. Well, sir, it should just about do it. Wish I could have got a pop at the guy. Sick bastard. Now, don't you worry, sir. We'll take good care of her. And that's a promise. far, far away from here. Bitch. Darkness was upon the face of the earth. Let her go, Donovan. And God said to the fallen angel, Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. Care to join us for our service, Mr. Henson? Oh, but please don't look in the collection basket. You'll find your daughter's head inside. No! soon be immersed in flames, and your heart will burn in agony at my lord's delight. Hell is calling, Mr. Henson. <laughs> My God does have mercy, but I don't. Oh! 